My faithful friend, you're there everywhere I go in my life My faithful friend, in the darkness the light shone over my life My faithful friend, you bring peace in my heart in the trouble Faithful friend, you are Hello everybody, um very happy you know as i'm used to saying this is why i mean the codes okay this is the code when you heard and when you you heard this this voice directly you say oh you know mr mark is used to saying like this and this and that oh, all right okay today we're going to debate you know we often put videos i mean lessons we learn grammatical structures conjugation and so forth but today we are going to give a topic we are going to debate about pornography okay is pornography harmful or harmless and i'm not alone today i've brought i say i've brought some of my students and you are going to see what mr mike has done what mr mike is used to doing his job you know sometimes you have to call me for the mic okay i am a father i am a young you can see me like that's this i'm young but spiritually inside of me i'm an old man right and without no more delaying today we we're going to speak about pornography what are we going to, to debate about today you don't know that since the beginning of this world the human beings more or less been affected by the simple fact the world in which we are living is controlled by certain power that often attract people to the bed all these are justified by the existence of what we're seeing listening and imitating for having my topic introduced I would like to let you know that pornography is the obscene literature of art. It's always presented the aspect of iniquity and state of being naked. It's presented by obscene image, movies, sculptures, and so on. And we're going to debate together with my, my students. I start by Mr. Amos. Mr. Amos, today I received Mr. An Amos Bunduki. Mr. Amos, am I right about your name? Yeah, yeah. Can right. you introduce yourself? Okay, uh, my name, my name is Mr. Amos Bunduki. Uh, I'm one of the students of Mr. Mike. Yeah. All right, I'm very happy to see you here for the first time. Yeah. I think it's the first time. Yeah. Yeah, the first time. Yeah. The reason why time. I say I'm very happy to see you for the first time. Yeah say thank you okay that's fine we'll be meeting next time again yeah. yeah thank you very much apart from me we have mr mr john kabongo mr john kabongo how are you fine mr mike what about you yes fine am i right about the name can you introduce yourself yeah my name is john neville kabongo i'm a student of university of kinshasa i'm one of students of mr mike we had some classes at uh, at one of center yeah and i'm very happy to be here to present this this uh, this broadcasting yeah is it for the first time yeah it's here? my first time and i think that'll become here almost of time yeah not the last. it's not the last time you know yeah what are we going to talk about today today we're going to talk about the pornographic this is a big phenomenon which is uh, i mean uh, today many young are very interested by this phenomenon okay. but it's very a bad one because it's distracting uh, people, I mean, young, in the way of studying, in the way of planning their life and their future. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We are going to debate about. Yeah. Right yeah. Time. This okay. is just a. a Mr. Mr. Amos, take the microphone. Yes. Give the mic. Mr. Amos. Yeah. What do you mean about pornography? Uh, okay. It's a good question. Uh, pornography is a printed or visual material containing the explicit uh, description or display uh, of sexual organs or activity intended to stimulate sexual uh, excitement all right but can you i mean squeeze out on quote these materials visible materials about pornography okay uh pornography uh when we are talking about uh destroying material uh it's because uh when watching those kinds of videos 
uh, the generation is uh, going on uh, on uh, is, uh, the yeah uh, the generation is going on into destroy yeah that's why we we we're talking about uh, uh, pornography is uh, a destroying material all right mr john kabongo you have the same question what do you mean about pornography thank you for the question mr mike according to my small research uh, i understand that pornography is the exposition of obscene movies uh, the people who are doing this they don't care about the how can, how can i say the the, the uh, they don't care about the child. They don't care about education. This is an exposition of obscene movies. Okay, purity is pouring out of this, mm -hmm. and then we can say that pornographic is a bad things that we have in the world nowadays. Yeah. A bad thing, but why it's making film? Making film means you know uh, a success. Some people are success all over the world. Yeah, you can see even on internet. You know, graphic movies and so on even about scrap sculptures okay you can see a statue with sex like this okay, okay. what it's making film all over the world like this pornography oh uh, pornography I've, I, I've think about it i say that pornography today it becomes very very, very easy to get to the pornography then to have a, a content in a bank you know uh because today many people are very interested by sex and as they they more interested by text by sex they think that it's very interesting to make it public or it's false you know sex it must be something must be close something silent something discreet and today sex has become something like public and that's why pornographic interest in many people mm -hmm. yeah and, let, and let some me, one of us some of them is some some reason i don't know but let me add something it's uh, for the time being it's difficult to get control of it because in addition, you've bought the phone for your child, yeah. right? In Android. Yeah. But when once it's on internet, you don't know because you don't control it. It can come across with pornographic things, yeah. you know. I mean, this it, it will be the way of destroying in his mind, even about the education at school. He will be absent-minded. What can you say about it? Because you buy the phone, we have internet. Your children are watching porno pornographic things on internet okay what solution or what solution can you give yeah thank you for the question mr mike yes. today some child or some children they like to have a phone and then if you are parents and you have some children you must borrow one you must buy one for them because if you don't do they will go to steal and it's not good mm -hmm. but once you have paid a phone to a child you must look after this phone you must control it every time and uh, there are some ways for you to to have a control anytime on this phone because as you said it's very impossible for you to know what he's doing with sometimes going to be absent and the, this child is going to just look for pornographic movies and put it in his phone you cannot know you must have a control maybe daily maybe weekly just depend on you but you must have always an eyes on this in the way to preserve your son from the obscene movies that is but once he put a code because some sometimes we call the phone yeah no one to, to i mean to to check inside because there is a call like but, I think, one here. but I, I don't think that if you have a full control on your child even if he has put a code he can uh, he can unlock this he can unlock this in the way to to, to to allow you to have access to his phone your child is no more strong than you i think yeah okay mr amos you have the same question okay about the phone yeah. so let me make you son let me remind you that we we are speaking about pornography yeah. okay mm. is pornography harmful or harmless okay uh thank you for the flow uh okay generally uh pornography is uh harmful because uh, uh it has many disadvantages yeah and uh, that's why uh, uh, when somebody is watching pornographic movie movies and uh, watching some images of pornography uh next video next videos next images uh it turns him to masturbation when it is not possible to have a partner whom they can uh, have sex both together yeah uh, the person starts to practice masturbation and masturbation is not good 
uh, firstly in the in the eye in front of eyes of God because it's a sin according to the Bible yeah according to the Bible and it's also something that can damage uh, some organs of the body and it can make call uh, it can make call to some disease uh, like Such uh, as, yes. yeah for example uh, it can disturb uh, the blood and so on and so forth okay. uh, that's why uh, we say prevent is uh, better than cure yeah prevention is better than cure but yeah. what can you say about phone about the phone android, android yeah, uh, yes. about the phone mm -hmm. uh, when you buy uh, a phone for your children uh, you must often have uh, the need to watch up what is inside of uh, the phone of your child because uh, in this generation there is many technologies uh, and uh, people are interesting uh, from watching some uh, sex videos and uh, that's why you must uh, check up in the phone of your children because uh, it's very important so uh, i think on internet the the reasons only pornography right we also find bibles inside over there on the internet even age about doing search for education i mean university schools grammar grammatical structures conjugation mm -hmm. but why are people focused on pornography okay it's a good question uh today people thinks like uh, love is just sex yeah uh, people are focused to sex but uh, they must know firstly that sex is done just if uh, if you are married but people today uh, they are living like uh, animals because an animal uh, can uh, can have sex with uh, any any animal that he's seen but uh, we persons because we are humans we must uh, have sex uh, when when we are married yeah according to the bible yeah and uh, also logically we must only have sex if we are married but today it's not the case it's not the case okay we have to get control of ourselves mr john kabongo you have the same question about what i've just spoken here you can also do research okay yeah i mean on internet but people are focused on pornography why okay i'm gonna complete what my friend said today people particularly young they're more interested by sex why we don't know and the one of this reason for why they were more interested by sex is the pornography us have my phone and all of the time i'm checking pornographic movies one day i'll be tempted to test to trust okay and as i'm trusting even married or not i don't care about it but i'm just trying to have some sexual intercourse with a girl and most of the time by the end of being uh, making uh, sex okay uh people are interesting to know how to do it more more perfectly because when I'm, we're watching sex movies they are showing everybody every part of body and then and they are giving some way or some ways to to do it perfectly people are more interesting to follow this to have some way to put the section the clothes even not legal very perfect and it's not a good reason today it's not it's something which is uh, distracting people today they're interested by pornography because there's sex inside today it's very easy to find someone following jesus movie okay the, the move of jesus okay. then the pornography they're more interested by pornography than jesus movie okay. or interesting movie yeah so what about i mean uh in a family you a father or your father and your mother for them to talk about pornography to their own children it's something taboo like this okay it for it a taboo yeah. for them they say oh it's a shame talking about pornography you know with our children it's not interesting they keep i mean the truth and once children discover outside it will be terrible for them to use it what can you tell this kind of parents yeah thank you for your question mr mike yes. they, this is one of the matter we have the parents i don't know they they are ashamed mm -hmm. to talk about sex story with the children but this is something they must do regularly because your son the things he's going to discover out of your out of your home is more dangerous than what you would say you have talked to him like piece of advice okay. 
uh, I mean, in the old time, parents used to, to make their children around the few, around the, the fire. The fire. And to give them, them some pieces of advice. During the day or in the night? What is, during the night. Ah, okay. Exactly during the night. Yes. And then today, this practice has disappeared. Once a girl or a boy arrive at the age of following girls or having some sex, some sex pulsions, the parents are forbidden, are forbidding them to get out, to look for some bo some bad boys, some girls, but they don't tell him the reason why he mustn't. Understand? And then the boy is very, uh, how can I say, is very surprised to know that my parent is forbidding me something to me. Now I must know why they refuse. And the boy or girls, they are getting out, just trying to discover what the parent refuse. But if the parent today have a time to discuss with this, uh, with the uh, they girl and their boys and saying that look up my son here you must work like that and here you must look like that there will be uh, there will be no more catastrophe like today they must talk with their children every time every day giving give them uh, giving them pieces of advice in the way to make the future perfect once the parents are keeping silence the children are going to be distracted few by few by this phenomenon yeah. all right so let me tell you viewers that i'm discussing with my students these are my students right they have learned english at mr mike center but if you want to learn english or if you want to learn english if you want to have i mean a a, a dar or a dar or knowledge like them you'd better join us okay join us and you will speak more than them more than them you know uh what's the what they're doing today it makes me it makes me happy even myself i'm surprised I am really surprised because I remember the day they came in the beginning when they came it was difficult for them to say even I you know even good evening okay others was saying oh, no I, I keep it okay I keep quiet so you have the floor mr. Mm -hmm. mr. Amos the same okay about uh, yeah. I mean uh, the parents or a piece of advice to parents who find I mean pornographic things or pornography a, a taboo yeah uh Generally today, uh, the parents are hiding the truth, the truth of pornography, because uh, uh, when uh, the kids are growing, they are so curious and they must know because they need to know what are the truth, because the truth must not be hidden. But today, the parents are hiding the truth. That's not good at all, because when uh, kids are finding the truth outside, as uh, my brother was saying outside of the house it's very dangerous because uh, uh, the kids uh, could do things that they they couldn't do if the parents advised them before yeah that's what i had to say all right uh let me emphasize something pornography is also someone inside inside of a bedroom without clothes and the cameraman is taking image and they will sell it all over the world it's also you know it's a pornography but i'm going to ask mr john mr john what can you tell to those who are realizing this kind of movies i mean they are inside the bedroom taking images so as to sell it all over the world what can you tell those people who are, who are realizing this kind of movies okay to those people who are doing this they must know that they have children too and if they don't care about their children education they must care about the children of others education that is something very important they must do the best or uh, i mean they must do all they can to not make this video very public like today today you need to have an account on pornographic site or on pornography web to have some movies if just you have a phone everything is right they must do the best to to hide this video to give the access always to to person who are more than 18 years old that is better because a children who is under this age once he has this movies is very very dangerous for him that's all i can say to those people but you know even the way they are doing i mean this practice called pornography you can find it unbelievable sometimes it dirty okay because the way of doing even if you are a, a, a i mean a, 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 a human being like um, or another wife because i don't understand sometimes those women okay 
they can support these i mean in that position that you can find it unbelievable to use for another wife right. if you try to use it with your own wife she will be sick right but for them they do it and people enjoy it enjoy it okay thank you very much for having answered uh, what, what can you say about it okay uh about uh, those who are really realizing this as captures okay uh it's of course a matter of opinion uh, because the sculptures does is part also of poem graph and uh, bad too for the repetition and the personality yeah today persons uh, don't care about their repetition or their personality but what I can tell to them uh, even not today but uh, in the future or uh, even in the streets when you meet someone who knows that you are uh, an actor of, uh, of pornography uh, uh, you can see the way it that is your reputation and your personality you will you will you will not have a good personality because because everyone will, will know that uh, you are a bad man because uh, pornography is bad and when you are uh, doing something that is bad uh, it seems that you are also a bad man or a bad woman that's what I can say so what about married persons those who are ma married I mean a couple mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. husband and wife we know everybody knows that you married okay mm -hmm. everybody knows that once you get married it's what you're going to do okay it's what you're going to do but why are they watching pornography is it good for married per persons watching pornography mr john yeah thank you mr mike for the question according to some search i found here okay, can you allow me never to mind read? yeah they've said one of devastating effects of pornographic and other sexual explicit material is that it sabotages the ability to enjoy normal sex mm -hmm. this can lead to serious marital issues okay okay there you can understand that even for my for my it's not interesting to to follow pornography to watch that it's not interesting because most of the time you're going to follow this you are, you, you are not gonna enjoy uh, the normal sex as it said here okay and the married are not right to follow this uh, by saying that you're married we don't care about anything no they don't they don't right to follow this it's not it's not it's not interesting for them even for them it's not interesting but, yeah but I think uh, uh, pornography destroys marriage in another way because there they take much time of I mean doing th sexual intercourse they can take even one hour or 45 minutes sometimes 30 minutes but at, I mean when you together with your wife you don't even realize 10 minutes and your wife can say oh my husband you are neighbor because why over there they are doing much time but you together with me you do you don't make much time I, I don't think so that following pornography can give to a man who, who don't arrive to, to many times with this girl in doing sexual intercourse can give him more time. I don't think so. There are some ways to do, but not by watching pornography. I don't think so. And I cannot say that pornography is totally forbidden uh, to, to the married. No. It, it can be, uh, how can I say, it can be, it can be seen by married. But not every day, not every time. And in special case, I would hate something, Mr. Mike, if you permit this. Go ahead. Some people can have some some morals according to the the sex in general, and some doctors ask to them to follow pornography. This is in the way to make someone a good feeling. Yeah. Are you sure? What yeah, I'm sure. Oh, some okay. people can be healed of some sex morals, and doctor ask to him to follow pornography. But this is not every time or this is not very recommended for married they can follow it but i don't think so if you say that a married uh, a husband if he don't arrive to to do more than he can do on the bed he must follow pornography i don't think so have you ever watched pornography me you? oh yes okay thank yes. you very much <laughs> you, you, this you're telling me the truth i appreciate thank you yeah. yes you have given the mic around mr amos what yeah. can you say about it about married persons okay uh for me i can say that uh it's up to them but sometimes we can say uh married persons also watch 
uh, some uh, sex videos uh, because uh, sometimes me I find it uh, like uh, they are searching for some skills uh, because uh, there is some married persons who doesn't know how to do it correctly because uh, there is some uh, wives who uh, oblige oblige the men to do uh, some uh, many times many minutes and uh, to have some uh, best skills uh, that's why they watch porn videos uh, to search for some uh, good skills best skills that's why they watch pornographic movies but uh, uh, for some of them who don't prefer watching those kind of videos it's not interesting and uh, it's not important for them at all it's not important for them yeah all right but what about sculptures mr john when i speak about sculptures image in addition you're working on the streets you can see a statue a naked statue right and a sex a visible sex like this okay you go in there can be a man or a, a woman okay seeing this kind of movies it's not destroying minds of people mindset surely yes it's destroying okay. but what can we do in this case or uh, for example i give an example a mom a mom takes uh, their children and bring them somewhere in the way they found something like this okay okay also the children can ask mom what's it okay. now mom must explain to children but the things like that i mean it's a it's by fault of our authorities uh, they don't care about the education of people and then something like this must be removed from the, the way it's put and we must care about education of people most of the time education of children because most of the time the children i think uh, i think this image or the statue they're going to be curious to know what is this and what is this and if they have not the parent who can exactly explain them uh, this phenomenal i mean it's a it's a danger yeah but you'd burst I mean, you've just spoken about the book. Parents, they don't talk about it, I mean, in the family because they find it taboo. But once they find on the streets over there and children ask, mother, what, what, is, it, what is it? And it will be easy for you to, to explain them because so avoiding taboo. I've said it's, when I, when I start, maybe you didn't understand. I said that mother must explain to children exactly what it is because if she doesn't, the children will be no, you just spoken. You said it in the beginning, but right now you said it's not interesting, right? It's just you said you said that okay, it's not, yeah. inter it's not interesting. But mother, we are there to to talk about it, okay? But I don't I don't understand. It's interesting it's or it's taboo. First of all, it's not interesting yes. to put a statue pub publicly. Mm -hmm. But if they have the mother with his children or father, founders, she must explain. But at the start, it's not interesting to put a statue, a naked statue, as you said. But if they arrive that we found one, we must explain what is uh, what this means. This is what I said. Yeah. All right, Mr. Amos, you have the same question. Yeah. Okay. You have the same question about sculptures, images on, on the street. Okay. Uh, sculptures and images naked on the street are uh, very dangerous for young people because, uh, as I was saying young people are very curious and when they're seeing those kinds of images or sculptures over the streets it's very dangerous because uh, uh, pornography has a, a main problem because the problem of pornography it has a disease which is uh, invisible yeah it's invisible because uh, it's uh, over the head mm -hmm. yeah the mental yeah when the mental has a problem when the mental has uh when the mental of uh, young people are seeing those kinds of images and uh, those kind of uh, those kind of sculptures over the streets uh, it can uh, what can i say it can disturb the head and uh, the head of the young people of the of the kid and the kid cannot uh, think as well uh, uh, as he was thinking and uh, uh, he couldn't be clever as before all right Mr. John, yeah, Mr. you know, you are you, uh, in, in love with a girl, okay? You are, I mean, you have your girlfriend, okay? We don't encourage it, but we, we know that it's something, I mean, uh, it's making you feel a lot of the world, okay. right? You're in love with a girl, 
and your girlfriend's text image about his body in, in, in the bedroom okay get an image okay so just get image of her own body naked okay and after some time she sends to you right she's naked and you are watching it. you say oh yes this is my girlfriend she's beautiful look at the size right but someday when you you part there is a parting a separation okay you are not in love anymore and you decided to publish on social networks okay what can you advise to these kind of girls who are getting these images so as to send to their boyfriends thank you which is a very important question first of all taking some movies of of his own body and send it to somebody according to a uh, very this is i'm talking to girls taking some pictures of his own body and sending to someone first of all it's not a no-no for a girl it's something uh, i don't know i can i can qualify this but it's not a no-no uh this kind of girl must be ashamed for themselves because your body uh, even the bible yeah we're not in church but the bible said the body is the temple of holy spirit oh, and right. you must keep it clean uh, to this girl i'm gonna give them advice to stop this kind of things it's not a no-no for them because if your picture is published on social network even me i'm not a boyfriend but i'm saying this i cannot respect you okay. i can i can meet you in a way but i can i can never expect you because you are not respectable you have put your respect away and no, no nobody can respect you that's what i can say and it will be a shame for you to get married because well what i've seen like this on so social network yeah your image i mean uh moving time to time even if someone wants to get you married it will be difficult for him to get you married he'll say no no no, no. that girl is not respectable okay it will be a shame for me getting married with this kind of girl this kind of women really woman. yeah, yeah. Wow, what will be the sort of my children a shame yeah really when you are uh i can I say this kind of girl cannot be good for you for a good wedding okay i mean your education education of your children will be put away before you get married with this kind of girl because she has she has taken her whole body and in my way of thinking i think that she has sold it she has sold it because with uh with others with others boys uh they take movies no a picture movies and they sell it on pornographic web if you want to get married with this kind of girl i think i'm sorry for you because you are going to put your children education away this kind of girl must be uh they they deserve to be avoided that is what i can say it, yeah all right i appreciate mr amos you have the same question okay uh about you uh, in love with a girl okay yeah you mean uh about getting image ways to sound to you mm. and you see you, you appreciate to say this is my girlfriend she's beautiful and so on what's going to say about it okay uh me first of all i must advise to those girls who who do or practice those kind of things ah it's not uh, reasonable because uh it's a sin first of all and also it's uh, shameful and it's also very bad because it's dirty as i was saying and i'm as i'm repeating it's that is the reputation and the personality first of all uh, when you are a human uh, in uh, this earth you must keep your personality because uh, you are a person when you are a person uh, you are walking uh, under this earth you must need to be respected but when you are not respected uh, because uh, you are uh, doing things that uh, are not uh, reasonable in uh, in front of eyes of persons or in front of eyes of god it's not good because uh, when i when i see a girl uh, or when I hear some 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 somebody tell, telling me something like that about a girl, I can I can never marry her because uh, it will be uh, uh, it will be getting me ashamed because I cannot do uh, a wedding with somebody who is dangerous because uh, uh, girls like that are very dangerous because they are destroying the generation. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, even if we avoid pornography, Mr. John. We are working on the streets. We see the way 
girls are clothing themselves the way of clothing you can see a girl with a small skirt like this and you see the underwear even here nurses outside okay they are troubling us sometimes okay you don't watch it but in addition i mean once you want to get a transport a transportation okay when you in inside but a girl is going you directly see the underwear you okay size inside we the things that we can keep inside but for the time being nowadays it's outside right yeah what can you say about this kind of things yeah this is a, a one of big matter we have some some some, some from sometimes uh, we are African this is the first something we are forgetting every time African cannot be like European American no we are different we must have our way of of, of clothing have you said today girls are clothing very in a very very bad condition today it's not very impossible for you to see a body of girl because even if i mean if you want to not see a body of girl please maybe uh, just be blind because as long as you see and you are walking in the streets you will find a girl very very bad clothing uh, what can i say about this girl uh, some some others of them are not well educated because if your mom has given a good education to you you cannot clothes uh, by like you want it's not it's impossible you have some way of clothing which respect your body which respect your family which respect your your somebodyness yeah and the girls who are clothing very good uh, very bad they know what they, they care about the device I can give to them is just they must control the way of the uh, uh, the way they are they are clothes. It's uh, not very interesting the way girls are clothes in, uh, clothing today. Yeah. This is a piece a good a piece of advice. Okay, what can you say about it? About those kind of girls? Okay, uh, today it's the problem of the generation because uh, in the former time, a uh, persons uh, was uh, forbidden to wear clothes that are. Uh, unappreciable to people but today it's uh, totally normal it's normal to see a girl wearing a, a short skirt a short dress today it's normal but uh, it's a problem of the government because if we have a good government uh, the government can uh, uh, have that uh, that thing to to make it uh, forbidden okay because uh, when they see somebody wearing or dressed very bad they must tell him or they must uh, arrest him to tell him uh, that uh, he's uh, bad worried but today it's normal it's the problem of the generation because uh, this generation is destroyed is destroyed uh, even in sin the sin today is normal when somebody is doing something that is uh, unbelievable is uh, taking it like a thing that is normal the, yeah. this generation so is destroyed yeah. but why is this generation destroyed okay this generation is destroyed because uh, the evil uh, is uh, working with young people yeah o young people are affected to things that are what can I say nearly uh, uh, from this earth yeah but because they are following stars when they're following uh, some uh, sculptures of stars of persons who are known uh, over the world they are following things that are unbelievable and they are doing things that excuse, are excuse me you are yeah. going to keep on okay let me tell our viewers that I apologize don't call us right now we are in direct it will be difficult for us to answer you'd better send an SMS and we'll read it thanks a lot for calling yes keep on okay yeah that's what I was saying that uh, the generation is keeping on uh, to, uh, to his destroying uh, when uh, uh, persons yeah yeah uh, that's what i was saying yeah okay mr john we are almost in the end we are at the end of our tv tv show you'd better give your last word advice or solution summarize okay thank you mr mike uh what can say like, like last word it's that we must we must keep our wave of starting we are african people and we have some wave that we respected before 
that we don't respect today anymore. We must come back to our way because you are African and you must be proud of this. If you are African and you are dressing very bad, but we are keeping our way, I mean, it's very important. And advice I can give to the pornographic man, the followers of the big followers of pornographic that they must control. They must control their passion. It's not very interesting finding a boy who has more than 10, uh, 20 years for, for following pornographic. It's not very interesting because, as my brother said, by the end of following pornographic, you'll be tempted to, to do masturbation. And masturbation is something very bad in this generation. And my solution is that parents must be always active in the education of the children by giving them advices and I think that things can change one day. Yeah. Thank Parents you very much. must be active. Thank you very much. I've taken something. Good. Keep on. Okay. Uh, uh, the last thing that I can add is that uh, uh, persons must be uh, thinking as their age. Yeah. Because uh, I can advise them to tell them that pornography is very bad and uh, it's uh that is their reputation and their personality that's uh, what i had to say and that's all yeah thank you very much our viewers we were speaking about pornography okay we've spoken about it i mean i with my all my students here next to me it was really interesting but let me tell you that pornography is not really interesting it's really harmful we don't find any advantages inside why watching why destroying your mind it, it is seen before god brothers and sisters even fathers mothers you in couple it's not interesting watching pornography it's not interesting we know that you, you married you together it's what you are going to do for giving birth why are you watching this kind of things right we will have to i mean we are all of us we have to avoid it we have to avoid it thanks a lot thanks for watching i think we're going to meet next time stay tuned bye Yeah, everywhere I go in my life My faithful friend in the darkness A light shone over my life My faithful friend You bring peace in my heart In the trouble Faithful friend you are